Hi, welcome. This is a video, a study, an investigation why the Vivaldi Widevine did not uh, successfully install. So this article shows to you that if you know that, for instance, Thursday you installed Vivaldi Widevine and it was just fine and it was working. And what is this? This is a package to play Netflix on your Vivaldi. So you installed it yesterday and you installed it today and then, then this element says this, this Pacman says, or Ye says, hey, there is an error. One or more files did not pass the validity check. So you're already aware that it's a great package. So you know it's safe. So that's why it says here in capitals. And you want to skip because you want to watch Netflix now. Now, there are other things you can do. And that's a fact. And to ask the developer, hey, what's going on? And uh, flag it out of date or, or build it. Well, take a look at the package build yourself. So if that's all too difficult for you, then we have these uh, well, flags or these extra options you can put behind it and we've made a nice alias so skip the skip integrity so if you know what you're doing if you know that the package is safe you can do it and quickly watch your Netflix so this is a great time for me to explore with you why is it not installing it is we have to do all kinds of tricks to get it installed so what's going on Okay, we go to Ctrl Alt T and what you do is you want to install Vivaldi and then Wildfine and let's investigate together. So normal procedure did not select the one. So number one, say OK, enter, 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 and then it's going to download everything. And then it says here that the Chrome EULA text HTML has failed, not a package, meaning the package is fine. We are stopped in our installation because we are missing a checksum for an HTML text about, well, copyright probably. So, strange, right? How do we fix this? So we go to our download. Where, where is this hell all happening? Where is this working? Well, there is a working directory in control H is what we press to go inside our cache. And here's the yay. And yay has downloaded and created a folder. And in here is everything is going to build everything, right? So the dot H is not so control H because the dot git is not necessary. So this is what's coming from Debian, AMD64 Debian. And this is a text which I couldn't care less about because it's just HTML. If you want to see it, it's just this. This is what stops installing our stuff. So how do we fix this? Well, we can take a look at the package build. Option one is we investigate and get rid of, of this altogether because we want the application. We don't care about the HTML. Option one. Option two is see why this is wrong. And well, we have to change the checksum. So let's open it and let's super F this thing so we can read it. So it's a little bit long, these lines are best like this. So there are two lines here, two sources. And when you see two sources, there must be two checksums down here. So source one is go get this. And do not save it as EULA text, but save it as Chrome EULA text, okay? And then the other line says, go and get that one. And then these variables are explained up here. So go and get that version, okay? Now, the one that's wrong is this one. So if this is the first one, then this is also the checksum of the first one. And this is the second one. This is the checksum of the second one, all right. So what I need to do is to change this option one or maybe option two. Either you delete the Chrome Yula text everywhere, also here, or you say, well, I'll just figure out what then the exact SHA256 uh, sum is. We're gonna do that first. So super F to get out again. Present working directory, let's see where we're in. We are at the wrong folder here. So right mouse click open terminal present working directory yes list yes 
So there's on this application that can calculate a number, a huge number. And this is the correct number. This is the number that the AOR maintainer should copy paste. So control shift C. And this one is out. As you can see, this starts with six and ends with nine, control V, seven and ends with B. So it's a totally different number. Okay, super F. This means we're still in our folder, the cache folder. We have a file that's called package build in all capitals. This means we can try and make a package. And there we go. We have passed already. So this is the problem we had. And it's, it passes now because we have now the correct checksum. Simple as that. Pac-Man is happy because of the checksum. So he finished making his says, let's have a look. So it's in here. So remember this extension is like knowing XA and MSI. This is star XZ. So we can double click this thing and we can install it to install Widevine, commit and, and it's installed. Or you can say right mouse click and do it the way, to the terminal way, pack man minus u. That's what you need to remember, Vivaldi. Boom. And then everything is installed. Okay. Now, the other option, if we combine it in the same video, the other option is forget about this uh, privacy EULA text. But of course, I understand that people would like to have it. But if just check some thing does not work, oops, we have another solution. Uh, let's control Z again. So all of this has to go. Let's just assume there's nothing else but that, but the Debian file. So HTML has gone. And in the package build, your recipe, you're telling, hey, there's just Debian, just that one you need to check. And that means that you don't have user license here as well. So that's gone as well. If we save everything, so we're going to download everything. It's a Debian. It's going to be checked here. It's going to be extracted there. And so I don't know what this is. And then he's going to copy paste this to a particular file or a folder. So let's try. We have made another adaptation. So we are going to make a package. Now there is already a package. So he'll complain that it's OK. It's educational, let him complain. And I'll show you what to do. Well, he tells you what to do. He says, hey, there is a package. Why are you building one? So use F minus F. And then you forcefully overwrite it, this package. And there you go. So there are two ways to build your package. Package and probably maybe more, I don't know. Hey, this is your solution. Today, Vivaldi White Fine. Tomorrow, another package. So it's up to you to analyze what's going on with this package. It was just an HTML file, guys. That was really stopping us to watch Netflix on Vivaldi. Solved. All right. Enjoy.